Homecoming was a happy one for Ohio football. The Bobcats win over the Akron Zips 34-28, and they're 7-0 and 3-0 on the year. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Bobcats. Rob Cornelius is alongside. It started with a great start, and you need to have that great start. Ohio hasn't had that awesome start in a while. That set the tone to get win number seven on the year. No, a really good push by Ohio. 17 nothing open the game. First, forced the first Akron pick of the ball game. Got the lead out to 20 on two different occasions. Great start, great first half by Ohio. Yeah, Tyler Tevelton said he was 100% the weeks prior. Today we saw all that he brings to the table, and he caught a touchdown pass too. Yeah, the classic run for one, throw for one, catch for one kind of day. Tyler ran, 12, ran the ball 12 times, about 65 yards, completed a bunch of throws, touchdown pass, and then caught one today from Landon Smith, the classic wide receiver, reverse option throw, whatever you want to call it. He gets it downfield with Tyler for 39 yards. Tyler's sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. Just runs under, runs it in. He said he just wanted to make sure he didn't trip. As he got into that south end zone, he made it in fine. Also, he set the all-time record for passing touchdowns in an Ohio career past Boo Jackson today. Now, you look at the work he's done, short career. He's had a lot of time left. Yeah. A season and a half, coming up with football for a healthy Tyler Kelly. Yeah, Ohio defensively had two picks, didn't turn the ball over today, so they win that battle. And they did enough defensively at the end to hang on. You know, they really did a decent job today stopping the pass game. Held Akron under 300 yards past the ball, held him to just right around six yards in an attempt. That sounds like a lot, but if Akron's going to throw the ball 50 times or averaging six, it means they didn't get free for any big ones. And when they did throw deep, that's where Ohio got the two picks. So now Ohio is perfect, and we'll see the new top 25 poll, but based on where things were prior to this ball game, Ohio is the last team out. They might be in for the first time since 1968. Real chance undefeated. They can sneak in the back end of that. And for Ohio, good news. The week off, get some guys healthy. Make sure Kyle Kelton's 100%. Worry about Gerald Moore back in the secondary. The next game, it's a Miami rivalry game. Mm -hmm. Funny thing is, under Frank Solich, Ohio is just flat out whipped Miami. Yep, so it's off to Oxford after an off week. Should be a good time. Great homecoming, Russ. You bet. 34-28 the final score. Ohio is 7-0 and 3-0 on the season. The perfect season continues. For the Bobcat TV crew and for Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Happy homecoming, everybody. This is Bobcat TV.